Happy Friday, everybody! And happy Hanukkah! We're starting out with something called the Christmas prodigal. So, have you heard the parable of the prodigal son? Here it is in song version. And imagine the prodigal son in 18th century Scotland. And uh, there's a few things that hearken back to the Scottishness of the setting. And it's a uh, First, there's a candle in the door and he says something about how his heart yearns for a candle in the door and a Scottish Christmas tradition was to put a candle in a window or a door to symbolize to any travelers that there was room in the house for any travelers because the Scottish people thought it was so sad that there wasn't room in the inn for Jesus so they started this tradition let's put a candle in the window to show that Travelers are welcome here. And you'll also hear Silent Night in Scottish Gaelic, which is the, the tongue of the highlands and the islands of Scotland. And that language, it's almost like the Silent Night in Scottish Gaelic is calling the prodigal home. He's remembering and thinking about the silent nights and the Christmas times and in the end, the love of his father is what brings him home. Did you mention the Gaelic? Yep, yeah, Scottish Gaelic. <laughs> we did. <laughs>
Well, I have a special treat for you. One of the very first poems that I ever, ever wrote. And it's called In the Season Where Everybody's So Excited About a COVID Vaccination. This is called The Gospel Vaccination. And the scripture that I wrote in this poem is Acts 319, which we would love to sing with you right now. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Acts 3.19. So I, we sing a lot of scriptures around here. But my children will say to me, oh, I already knew that after like Sunday school class or like some churchy event. And then I'm like, really? Well then prove it by doing it. So many people think that they're converted, also known as saved or born again, because they know about the gospel. They know about the good news. But guess what? If you have the party invite in your hand, it does you zero good if you don't actually show up at the party and eat the cake. So don't forget to admit Believe and forever receive the Savior. Allow him to save you. Gospel vaccination. Get your gospel vaccination and you'll think you are okay. Buffered from the truth. Hooray! Religiosity for the masses. <gasps> Inoculated from his reality. Pew warming death. Churchianity. America's been vaccinated. Discipleship's a chore when they think, oh, Jesus, what a bore. Churchianity. Preach the gospel to ears that have heard again and again and again. Completely inoculated, never really heard. Devil's clinics open 24 and 7. Vaccinations free of charge to lose your spot in heaven. You'll hear, but never understand. See, but never Truly see, hello, Pharisee, churchianity. Fall on your face before the Lord, your one and only hope. Pray until you receive the Holy Spirit antidote. Amen. And we're going to now play a riveting little Christmas ditty. A couple of jigs. Thank you. 